Two decades ago, as the internet was entering a phase of rapid growth and expansion, a Republican Congress and the Clinton administration established these foundational principles. The internet was to progress through human social interaction, voluntary contractual relations, and free markets. And governments and regulators were not to harm the internet's continuing evolution. Because of this do not harm approach, the internet created millions of jobs, transformed our economy forever, and improved standards of living across the globe. Here we are today to explore the new technology of distributed ledgers that may offer a similarly profound tool to share networks of information. Yet the development of distributed ledger technology, what I'll call a DLT, is at risk of being stymied by disparate and uncertain regulation. It's time again to remind regulators to do no harm. I note that when the internet developed in the mid-1990s, none of us could have imagined its capabilities that we take for granted today. Fortunately, policymakers had the foresight to create a do-no-harm, principles-based regulatory environment that served as a catalyst rather than a choke point for innovation. Thanks to their forethought and restraint, internet-based applications have revolutionized nearly every aspect of human life, created millions of jobs, increased productivity and consumer choice. Policymakers today must show that same forethought and restraint.